Welcome to this sheet metal tutorial guys. In this tutorial we will be designing this pyramid in SOLIDWORKS and we are going to use this flatten command in sheet metal. So let's begin. First we need to open a part file, select part and click OK. And from here change the background to plain white. And after that select this top plane and click on sketch. From here select this center rectangle tool and make a rectangle at this region like this now let's define it for that select smart dimensioning tool and specify the length of this line as 295 millimeter then specify the length of this line as 295 millimeter again there is another way for doing it press escape button and delete this dimension now hold control key select these two lines and make relation equal so we can do it uh, as well this is fully defined as you can see it from here and now select this sketch filler tool select this entire area and here select ok from here we need to specify the radius of the fillet and check this box from here so 4 mm radius has been applied on each of these corners as you can see it from here and now select here center line and make a straight vertical center line like this make sure that this is straight now select this offset entities and here in this parameter window specify 0.5 millimeter as distance let me show you just select this center line and here and make sure that you have specified bi-directional let me show you again two lines of 0.5 millimeter distant apart will be created now hold control key and select these two lines and make it them as construction geometry and then select trim entities guys make sure that you have selected this power trim and then trim these two lines the sketch will be opened as you can see exit the sketch from here now go to features and here select this plane because we are going to make a plane here so I am selecting this top plane. The reason is that I have created the previous sketch on the top plane. So here I am specifying 195 millimeter as distance from the top plane as you can see it from here. So a plane of 195 millimeter away from top plane has been created. Now select this top plane and click on sketch and make a center rectangle at this center like this. Now let's specify the dimension of this rectangle. This line is 148. Now press escape button, hold control key, select these two lines and make relation equal. As you, I, I have explained this thing to you as previously as well. Now let's apply the sketch fillet as you can see. Of 4 millimeter and check this box from here and now guys select the center line again and make sure to make a straight vertical center line like this this should be straight and now we are going to repeat the same sketch offset entities select this line and make sure bi-directional is checked from here and here specify 0.5 millimeter now select this line and make it as construction geometry and this as well which will turn these lines into the center lines now trim these two lines from here and then check this box from here this sketch is opened as well and now exit the sketch as we have nothing to do with this plane so select this plane and hide it and now let me show you how to enable the sheet metal from here you can enable it sheet metal when you check this this sheet metal tab will get enabled and here we have the lofted band when we select it we need to specify two different sketches this is sketch number one it's appeared here and this is sketch number two that's appeared here so this is the pyramid and now we need to specify some more parameters this internal line is basically the sketch line and uh, here we need to specify the thickness of this pyramid 
we can increase it as you can see it but I want to specify a 6 millimeter 6 millimeter would be the th would be the thickness of the plate when we check this uh, reverse the material would be internal and if we select this symmetric half of material would be inside and half material would be outside when we check this box from here and here is our pyramid and let me show you how to flatten it before that let me apply some appearance so that it look better for visualization and when we select this flatten tool from here it get flattened so this is the basic sheet we have to cut and then roll to make it as pyramid so guys if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching